Dear students, in this lecture of software engineering, we will discuss about feasibility study, types of feasibility, that is technical feasibility, operational feasibility, economic feasibility, political feasibility, and in last we will discuss about feasibility study report. First, what is feasibility? Feasibility is defined as the practical extent to which a project can be performed successfully. To evaluate feasibility, a feasibility study is performed which determines whether the solution considered to accomplish the requirement is practical and workable in the software or not. The main objective of feasibility study. The objective of feasibility study is to establish the reasons for developing a software that is acceptable to user, adaptable to change and comfortable to establish standards. Various other objectives of feasibility study are to analyze whether the software will meet organizational requirements or not, to determine whether the software can be implemented using current technology and within the specified budget and schedule or not, to determine whether the software can be integrated with other existing software or not. The types of feasibility. There are different types of feasibility like technical feasibility, operational feasibility, economic feasibility and political feasibility. Technical feasibility assesses the current resources such as hardware and software and technology which are required to accomplish user requirements in the software within the allocated time and budget. Technical feasibility performs different tasks like to analyze these technical skills and capability of the software development team members to determine whether the relevant technology is stable and established or not. It ascertains that technology chosen for software development has a large number of users so that they can be consulted when the problem arises or improvement are required. Operational feasibility. Operational feasibility assesses the extent to which the required software performs a series of steps to solve business problems and user requirements. Operational feasibility performs different tasks like to it determines whether the problems anticipated in the user requirements are of higher priority or not. It determines whether the solution suggested by the software development team is acceptable or not. It analyzes whether user will adapt to the new software or not. It determines whether the organization is satisfied by alternative solutions proposed by the software development team or not. Economic Feasibility Economic feasibility determines whether the required software is capable of generating financial gains for the organization or not. Cost and benefit estimates on each project provide a basis for determining which project is most worthy of consideration. In the economic feasibility, we perform cost-benefit analysis. Cost incurred in software development to produce long-term gains for the organization. Cost required to conduct full software investigation and the cost of hardware, software, development and training. In the economic feasibility, we um, basically perform cost benefit analysis. In the cost benefit analysis, we, we find what are the different types of costs and what are the different types of benefits. These are broadly divided into two categories. What is one is a tangible cost and benefits and another is intangible costs and benefits tangible costs and uh, costs are the easily uh, tangible costs are the easily estimated and these includes one time cost of developing the software continuous cost of operating the system the examples of uh, development costs are the salaries of the programmers and analysts the prices of the computer equipment and expenses connected with the user training. Operating costs include salaries of the computer operators and the cost of computer time and computer supplies. Tangible benefits. Tangible benefits includes decreasing salary cost of by automating manual process, preventing costly but frequent errors. Intangible costs and benefits. Intangible costs are usually not discussed as they are rarely large. Examples of such cost includes those associated with early user dissatisfaction and with the problems of converting to 
new system intangible benefits these are you can say the long term benefits these are these intangible benefits includes these are these are the benefits which are difficult to quantify in terms of um, in in monetary terms intangible benefits includes increasing the quality of uh, products upgrading new customer services reducing repetitive work for the staff and developing better understanding of market next is the political feasibility it is perhaps the most powerful type of feasibility but it is never formally included in the system study document this involves the extent of managerial support for changes to the present system the output of the first phase of software development is feasibility study report the feasibility study report is generated and the report may contain an introduction that puts the report in perspective and perhaps quotes the term of reference and the objectives of the systems are discussed interfaces with other systems and their implications of these interfaces are also discussed the present operating cost and condition including organization structure and staff levels the first estimate of the software development time and related draft implementation timetable expected benefits that will arise from the use of new system a cost benefit projection conclusion and recommendations these are the points of the main points of feasibility study report the feasibility study also covers the different areas of management like recommendations for changing the present system after analyzing all the pros and cons of each project proposal recommendation for changes are made second the area is effects of on the operations effects on the operations if it is recommended to develop or change a system the report must describe how the system or the changes will affect current operations next is next area is effects on personnel the effects on the new or changes system on people's people's jobs should be carefully described this includes everything from possible resist resistance to the new technology to differences in how employee enjoy their work and the last area is on the details of changes all the detailed information from the interviews pre preliminary cost and benefit estimations and other analysis should be included dear students if you have not seen the previous videos of this channel then there is a link for the playlist of all the previous videos